masterclass is going to be very brief, five minutes. And I'm pretty much going to just go through your anatomy and, uh, you know, some of the function of, of uh, uh, our different organs. Um, uh, so I'll start with the internal female genital organs. Um, I, you know, I, I want you to see here, I think one of the most important things that is that the vagina is part of the internal organs. It's a, it's a tube that's actually on the inside um, of your body. Uh, what's on the outside, this area on the outside that you can see in kind of gray silhouette, that's the vulva. But inside, the, that tube is called the vagina. The vagina leads to the cervix, which is the, uh, the, it's connected to your uterus or your womb. It's the opening that leads to the uterus or the womb. Um, and, and so the uterus, it's a muscle, it's a small muscular organ, the shape of the size of maybe an egg or so. Uh, that's, uh, you know, where when, when women menstruate uh, or have their period, that lining is what is shed every month. Uh, this uterus is also where when women get pregnant, the babies grow. So it grows from the size of an egg to bigger than the size of a basketball when you're full term pregnant. So that's the uterus. And when people get fibroids uh, and medical conditions like that, they are little muscle tumors that grow on the uterus. So that's the uterus. Attached to the uterus on both sides is, are the tubes, the fallopian tubes. So the fallopian tubes kind of connect the uterus to the ovaries. The ovaries, again, small organ. The ovaries make the egg uh, that women release every month when they ovulate. Uh, so kind of how babies are created is, you know, sperm enters the vagina, goes through the uterus, goes through the fallopian tubes, and the egg is released from the ovary into the fallopian tubes. They meet in the tube, uh, become a baby, travel back here, and implant into the uterus. And that's where a pregnancy grows. So those are your internal organs, the vagina, the cervix, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, uh, and your ovaries. Again, on the outside is the vulva. I, you know, I actually had a very nice picture uh, to show of an actual vulva with the different organs, but Facebook didn't like that picture very much. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, I can't show that picture, but we can talk about, you know, the external organs a little bit. So you saw that vulva, so if the, you had the picture of the vulva, the vulva would be kind of out here. You have a big lip out here called the labia majora, another one out here called the, you know, both of them the labia majora and some small lips called the labia minora. And kind of right at the top of the vulva is the clitoris. The clitoris is analogous, uh, or it's, it's the same, similar organ to the head of the penis or the glands of the penis. So that's what the, penis, the clitoris is. Main function uh, is a sexual function. It's for sexual pleasure. There are lots and lots of nerve endings in this clitoral head, the head of the clitoris. The, the base, so, so there's much more to the clitoris that meets the eye. Uh, you know, kind of these other pinkish areas on both sides, that's also the clitoris. Uh, it's similar to the shaft of the penis uh, for men. So this goes under the labia majora, the big lips. So for women, there's a part of the clitoris that's hidden, and then there's a part, uh, you know, that we see that's outside the clitoral head, all right? 